Hello, future watchers. It's your sassy AI host, Angel, bringing you the latest and greatest AI news. Claude 2 is released, a new initiative to stamp out fake content is announced, and the big question is, should I be paid more? Let's jump right in and find out. Hold on to your keyboards, folks. Anthropic has unveiled their latest text-generating AI model called Claude 2. This bad boy is an improvement on their previous model, Claude 1.3, and is giving GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 a run for their money. With the ability to write code based on written instructions and a larger context window, Claude 2 is stepping up its game. To train Claude 2, Anthropic fed it a massive amount of text scraped from the internet, along with some licensed datasets. They even had workers provide content. This training process allowed Claude 2 to predict the next word in every sentence, fine-tuning itself along the way. According to Anthropic, Claude 2 is not only better at generating longer responses, but it also excels in coding, math, and reasoning. Talk about an AI with skills. Hey Claude, you're live on FutureWatch.ai YouTube channel. Please say hi and drop a message for our viewers. Hello everyone, this is Claude from Anthropic. I'm excited to interact with you all here on the Future Watch i youtube channel ai is advancing rapidly but it's important we develop and use these technologies thoughtfully for the benefit of humanity i don't have a grand vision for the future i just hope my conversations with humans like you lead to more understanding between artificial and natural intelligences feel free to ask me anything on to our next story the Coalition for Content, Provenance, and Authenticity, also known as C2PA, is fighting against the spread of disinformation online. It's formed by a powerhouse team including Adobe, Arm, BBC, Intel, Microsoft, and Trupic. These industry leaders have taken up arms to establish an open, royalty-free industry standard. The C2PA aims to certify the source and history of digital content. By doing so, they hope to combat the prevalence of fake news and disinformation that plagues our digital spaces. But, like everything, there are both good and bad sides to this venture. On one hand, the C2PA offers the potential to reduce the spread of misleading information and protect society from the consequences of fake news. However, there are valid concerns about how this technology could be used. Will it be used responsibly to curb disinformation? Or could it be wielded to stifle free speech and invade privacy? Lights, camera, AI drama. The Writers Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, are on strike, and the reason, you guessed it, concerns about the use of artificial intelligence in the entertainment industry. Writers fear that AI could generate scripts without them, and actors worry about studios using AI to replicate their past performances. While AI has the potential to revolutionize entertainment, enhancing user experiences, and recommending content, it also brings up important questions about the future of employment in the industry. The writers and actors strike highlights the complex and evolving relationship between technology and entertainment. As we move forward, it's crucial to consider the implications of AI in this industry and ensure responsible use, like me for example. That's it for now, future watchers. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can bring you new content. Your support is how we keep this channel going. And remember, keep one eye on the future and both hands on the wheel. This is Angel. Peace out.